and welcome to Obsessive Audio. This is Eric, and it's time for another roundup, the September 2022 edition. Great time of year to be doing it. We are officially out of summer and into fall, and a lot of plugins were released in the first few weeks of September, also the last few months of the summer. This is by no means all of them. I have chosen a mere 11. So if you think I've missed something important, be sure to comment below on what it is and why you think it's important. These were just the ones that uh, made the most impression on me over the last little while. First up is Lava from Acoustica Audio. Acoustica have done it again, this time in the microphone modeling space. The idea behind Lava is to take a recording from one microphone and through the clever use of sampling, Acoustica enable you to change that profile to the sound of another microphone. So for instance, if you had a recording with an SM58, you would select in the From section on the left, you would select SM58. There's a lot of microphones to choose from that they've sampled. And let's say you wanted to turn that into uh, U67. You would select U67 from the drop-down menu in the To list in the middle. Uh, and then on the uh, right-hand side, you could select Oversampling, Wet Dry Mix. Along the bottom, there are two sliders, a high-pass filter, and a microphone proximity slider to help you match the desired tones. That's about all there is to the controls. Now, I've gotten to use Lava a fair deal now, and I pulled out all the microphones and did a bunch of tests. And while I don't exactly have a mic cabinet full of 47s and 251s, I do have some respectable clones, and this was able to get in the ballpark. What it could do was take a cheaper microphone and imbue it with a larger sound quality. And again, it doesn't sound like a, something you can do with EQ. It's really neat, and I've found that you can use this as a mixing tool. People send you tracks, maybe they're not recorded the best. You can go through the Lava presets and find something that really gives the sound a vibe and changes it in a positive way. And for that, I would just recommend scrolling through the mics, finding out what uh, sounds are available, because it really can make a big difference. And there are some videos on YouTube that show you how to do this. That's Lava from Acoustica Audio. Also from Acoustica Audio, we have Tan. Tan is a free compressor. It's available in their installer, which is called Aquarius, as is Lava. I uh, recommend if you're not already, go to Acoustica, sign up with them, download their Aquarius installer, start looking through the free stuff. It's amazing. Tan in itself is a bit of a breakthrough for Acoustica. It uses new technology that they call hypercompression. And this algorithm, I don't know what they do, but it is much more CPU efficient. And the compression behavior is much smoother, much more predictable, and dare I say, sounds a lot more analog. This compressor, you just you're just gonna have to try it because of the way that this sounds. It's like I can squeeze and squeeze and not feel like I'm losing the kind of quality that I do with a lot of other in-the-box compressors. So this is really cool stuff. The hyper compression technology is really promising. They're already starting to roll it out to some of their other Acoustica products. And uh, the future's looking bright there. Next up, we have Fullerton from Sound Drops. Fullerton is a complete sampling of a vintage Fender combo amplifier. It's a Nebula library. Sounds incredible. You've got your two channels, bright and normal, vibrato, spring reverb, two microphones that you can mix together for different effects. Each microphone has two positions. Also a reverb, stunningly realistic studio room reverb. Some of the best I have ever heard in computers, and this goes for all of the Sound Drops products. The way that they capture acoustical spaces is impeccable. Make sure you check out Fullerton. It's available in Aquarius, the Acoustica installer. And even though it is Nebula library, you can install it as a standalone plugin. Moving along from the incredible Fullerton, we have the incredible Saturn LO from DB Quadro. This is version two of Saturn LO. Version one came out a few years ago. Now, if you know the kinds of amps that uh, DB Quadro make, these are among the most versatile, most flexible, most tweakable, and highest sound quality circuit emulations out there. In fact, you can go in on a circuit level and tweak the various values for the components within the circuit. You can also oversample up to 1,024 times. Aliasing is a thing of the past. 
Version 2 now comes with DB Quadro's power cabs built into the amp itself. It used to be a separate library to handle the power amps, the speaker cabinets. Uh, now it's all integrated. They're using a Volterra type technology, similar to what Acoustica does. And now it's all built in. Sounds fantastic. Check out DB Quadro. Next up, we have Siren from Pulsar Modular, the P565 filter set based on the Uri Little Dipper and Moog ladder filters, also Alltech passive filters. It's got envelope followers, it's got oversampling, it's got distortion. You can do some really neat tricks like inverting the phase and delaying either the wet or the dry signal. Very cool unit. I just did a full walkthrough of it, which you can find on the Obsessive Audio channel. You can do everything from filter sweep effects to surgical corrections, tone shaping, auto wah effects, phaser effects. You can squeeze a slapback delay out of it. I found it works extremely well as a guitar pedal before an amp emulator. You can set it up as an extremely versatile wah pedal that goes far and beyond. You can use it as a tone stack. The distortion in it is really good. Love this plugin, Siren from Pulsar Modular. Next, we have an incredibly generous free plugin offering from Black Rooster Audio. This is RO Gold, Vintage Play Reverb. It's the gold section from their fully fledged RO 140 plate reverb plugin. That's got six different reverbs in it. And when I say paid, uh, I mean Black Rooster Audio have some of the most affordable, top notch plugins out there. I think they're one of the highest values in audio. Now, both RO Gold and RO 140 are physically modeled play reverbs. And I tend to really like that. Uh, Compared to impulse responses, I think the physical modeling has a lot less resonance in general, a little bit more clarity and space, and infinitely more tweakable if they get the physical modeling right, which Black Rooster certainly did. This plugin sounds as good as any of my other reverb plugins, and a lot better than some of them. So, Black Rooster, RO Gold, don't miss it. Eventide Strike Again with Physion MK2. This plugin features their relatively new technology where you can separate transients from the tonal portions of your audio. So it's the same technology that's, if you remember, in Split EQ. However, in Physion, you can choose from delay, there's compressor, pitch shifting effects, there's coarse, reverb, tremolo, a reverse delay, and a basic equalizer. And while the effects do sound good, I've seen a lot of users saying, hey, you know what, I wish that you could just use this plugin to split the transient effects to the tonal effects and then send them to two different channels, two different buses on my DAW. And that way I could use any effect I want on all these. And I concur. I think that's a great idea. In the meantime, the only workaround is to use two instances and extract the tonal dry and the transient dry that way. That said, this is a great plugin. You can do a tremendous amount with it, whether it be creative manipulation, sound design, or simple problem solving. It's kind of all there for you in a very easy to use interface. I really like these kinds of effects that take full advantage of the digital domain and the types of processing. While you might not initially thought to have done it that way, it ultimately proves to be very, very useful. And Physion is one of those tools, totally great. And speaking of tools to take full advantage of the digital domain, right here we have Lens from Auburn Sounds. This is one ridiculously awesome plugin. This might be the star of the show, frankly. I just tuned into it. It's only been out for a little while. And what it is, it's a 64 band compander, that's compression and expansion, happening within the spectral domain. You've got sidechain filters that enable you to selectively compress the uh, frequency ranges that you desire, expand others. It's a tonal shaper and uh, it can be used also as a noise reducer. And this thing is just incredible. It's incredibly clear. I believe the processing is linear phase. This one you just have to work with to see what it can do. This one can really transform a sound inside and out. I had a bass track that was way too bright and I was immediately able to just make it proper. And it did it in such a smooth way without the uh, typical side effects that you might have with a lot of EQ and a lot of compression. And I just can't say enough good stuff about this. 
It's uh, definitely worth checking out for the price. The intro price, I believe, is still on now. This is a tool I think that you're going to find is pretty unique and may prove to be indispensable. London Acoustics just updated their Taipei Studio Tape Recorder. It's Revision B. There's some optimizations included in this update, but the main idea is that it is now Apple M1 compatible. And there are some examples of Revision A on the Obsessive Audio channel. Also, there's some examples of Fullerton and the Saturn LO amplifier, too, that we've done in the past. So I will link to those below as well. This is a Nebula library, so it's available in Acoustica's installer. Check it out while you're in there. Type A Studio Tape Recorder Revision B. From Sergio Frias, we have Uberverb which is a pristine, very accurate recreation of the Alesis MIDI verb. In this case, I think it's MIDI verb 2. I used to use the MIDI verbs. I still have a quadra verb. And if you were around during the 90s, these were an extremely popular unit. They were all over dance music and a lot of other productions at the time, mainly because this was a reverb that didn't cost a bazillion dollars, and it sounded really good. So this is definitely a welcome addition to the Reverb collection. It's just a phenomenal job that's been done here. Everything's recreated to a T. I mean, look at that. The presets, they're all there. What's not to like? Uberverb. And we're going to round it out with a quick mention of Plugin Doctor from DDMF. They have updated to version 2. And the big deal about version 2 is that there is now a plugin available. If you know what Plugin Doctor is, it's an analysis suite. You can analyze the frequency, the phase, the harmonic response of your plugins. You can measure the dynamic response of compressors, take snapshots, compare different units. It's great, but it's always been a standalone application. Not anymore. Now there are plugins you can load into your DAW and you can have the whole plugin doctor experience from the confines of your DAW. So right on and well done DDMF plugin doctor version two. So there's a roundup of the top plugins I've seen, heard and played with in the past little while. Feel free to leave any comments or additional suggestions below. Hope you found this helpful. Hope you found this entertaining. Hope you like, hope you subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Obsessive Audio.